front page of your website, I saw this uh, quote and it says, I swore I would never run a day in my life and now I'm a running coach. I love turning new people onto running, especially if you consider yourself an underdog. Um, so that tells me that you never thought you'd be a runner. So I'm just curious how you got into it. Yeah, funny, you know, last time I think I remember running officially in high school, right? Because you have to for PE and you have to do your time mile. Um, you know, and I've always kind of been into fitness, but running just was not, never anything I thought would be anything I'd really enjoy doing at all. So, um, you know, I've always enjoyed strength training, that type of thing. And then for cardio, like walking and hiking are my favorite thing to do. I love to walk. I love to hike. And then um, I actually went to a fitness business summit. So I'm a personal trainer. So I went to the summit and they, they started out this, this boot camp called Easy 8 Running Camp. So it was basically to teach people how to, how to run, like how to get to an eight minute mile basically was the point of that course. Um, and so I signed up to be an instructor with it. And I thought, well, why not give it a try? Um, <laughs> just never thought that that would propel me to where I am now. I dabbled in that for a little bit, um, but it wasn't still like the eight minute mile thing to me felt very pressured. And so the more I did my own running and then one of my clients gave me the Chi running book. So that's really where my story really starts because Chi running was just a game and a life changer for me. Um, so I read the book and as a personal trainer, it made a lot of sense. Like this idea of learning how to run in a way that doesn't hurt your body. Like that's the biggest reason people are afraid to run or when they start, you know, they stop because it either hurts, you know, or I'm too overweight or I'm too old, whatever the stories we tell ourselves. And it's not running that causes pain. It's how you run. So once I started to learn how to run injury free and I became an instructor, like the possibilities are completely endless. And I mean, this is a weird sidebar, but I just ran 49 miles in the last three days for training for my big race, which again, would have never been in my wheelhouse at any point in time before she running. And I feel amazing today. I mean, I'm a little tight, but I, I and obviously I'm trained, but yeah, so running to me. And once I started crossing these finish lines that I never thought possible, I thought, oh my God, like anybody could run, like anybody can learn to run. It's really not that hard at all. So that's kind of how everything started. So I literally changed my business from easy fitness solutions as a personal trainer, fitness trainer to basically walking and running coaching. I'm more on the running right now, but, but yeah, so that, that's how the, that's how it started. And here I am now an ultra runner and a running coach. And when I say this out loud, it still freaks me out. Like, I can't believe that it, you know, I mean, I started this at 38, I'm on 50 right now. So it's not like I've been doing this all my life or anything, but, but it's amazing. <laughs> Can you explain chi running to me and what that actually entails and what it looks like when you're training it? Sure, exa exactly. So there's chi running and chi walking and the founders, Danny Dreyer and Catherine Dreyer, um, basically discovered how to apply Tai Chi principles to your running. So some of them are, are these Tai Chi principles, but a lot of it has to do really with body mechanics at the end of the day, which again, part of this is from the Tai Chi principle. So the first, we talk about alignment and relaxation, but the bottom line is learning how to get yourself in the right posture and to use gravity in your core muscles to do more of the work instead of using your legs. So when most people start running because of whatever you do every day in your life, right, our posture and however old you are, our bodies move in a way that's not the most efficient or effective because we have all these different postural distortions, as we call them, because of what we do all day. And so chi running really teaches you how to get your body in the right place with your posture and not use your legs. So most people, when they start running, they use their legs to propel themselves forward. So they overstride, they reach out with their legs. Um, and that's very inefficient and also a really good way to get injured because most leg injuries are, you know, anywhere from plantar fasciitis, knee pain, IT band syndrome. I mean, everything's lower. It's basically leg related. So when you take out the overstriding and not using your legs anymore, all of a sudden, it's just a way more efficient way to move and just easier. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's really crazy. So you are on a little bit of a pause right now just with events, but what events do you have coming up that you're really looking forward to? Um, yeah, so right now we're basically the, uh, the spring. So I, I do ladies training programs is like the big thing that I focus on. I love to coach groups of women together because I feel there's a 
camaraderie and, you know, and my group is about 40 plus age group wise. So, you know, it's a good way to stay connected. So those are the big thing that I do. And so they're winding down. We are actually going to Silverton, Colorado. It's our first time going there as a group, even for myself. And we're doing a race um, in a couple, yeah, a couple of weeks, week and a half, whatever. Um, and then I take a little break because I have some stuff going on. And again, in the summer, there's not a whole lot going on. But my fall programs are going to start um, August 15th. And those are going to be for all levels. So, and I also going to offer like two free weeks for people to come in and check it out. But that's, that's what I love to do the most. Um, on top of that, I'll also be doing some, um, you know, chi running workshops and chi walking workshops or sessions where people can come and learn the technique. Because again, for me as a coach, my biggest, my biggest thing for, for people, and women more because that's my my niche is that you want to do this for the rest of your life <laughs> like I have people who never thought they would a be runners I mean I even say runners in quotes because some of them can't even still call themselves runners right it's this mental thing again but you know they find each other in my group and then they become good friends and before you know it again we're doing some of these crazy things that they never thought that they could so I'm always trying to push people out of their comfort zone and those the, the races that we're going to be looking into for the fall are going to be um, there's a night trail race on Halloween, <laughs> which is very fun. And then another race, which is anywhere from five miles up to a 50 K in December. So I will be training ladies of all levels that want to experience the trail or ultra running, you know, really trying to get people to have their first time experiences is, is my big thing. I love people to just try something new and then kind of blow themselves away. <laughs> like they don't really realize they could do it. So fun. The Running University is the name of my company. And then I also, my spin-off or offshoot as I want to call it is my true tribe. So true meaning the Running University is the acronym tribe. So I do have an online um, site where, where they are and this is where I do all my programs. It's where I have all the content. I have videos, just a lot of things that we do group runs together. So um, I have a lot of stuff that does happen locally here in, in the Tempe area, especially, but I have people in my tribe. I have a lady who's in Mexico City. And so my ultimate goal is to have true tribes all around the country, maybe even all around the world where there could be somebody like me, like I would still be the overarching person as the coach, but um, just to connect all these women together, like the, the lady in Mexico City is like running is not as popular there. There's not as many women doing it. The ones that are, are competitive and we're not, we're just all like, let's just go out and have a good time. Like I'm all about have fun, take pictures, you know, we're not going to win the race. So really to just create this, uh, just to really get my group to be even bigger as far as them and finding each other and then maybe doing races where other true tribes are and we can connect and travel all over the, the country and the world to do races or just find cool places to go run and hike together. Do you train people to start on pavement? Do you get them on trails first? What's the preference and what's, what's the real difference there? Funny you say that. Like now I tell, if I meet anybody that has not even started running yet, I'll just be like, just get on the trail. Like, you know, road running is how most, probably all the people that I've converted to trail runners all started on the road. So I have very few people that just started trail running. Um, they start on the road and then they, they discover something new. So road running, you know, for all intents and purposes, I find it just boring. I mean, it's easy for me to go out my, my door and just go get a, a 5k in or whatever I need to do. Right. Trail running does require a step to get to the trail, but the, you know, and with the chi running, there's also this idea of the chi and the energy, right? So you could be on the road, there's cars, it's noisy, you know, you go out on the trail. I call it my church really, <laughs> you know, you're on the trail, you know, you, you're, you, you're a hiker, right? You're out hiking and it's just beautiful. And, you know, just having all the, the energy around you and it's just so much more peaceful and connecting with nature, not only is really good physically, but also mentally, right? So there's that whole aspect of it. And I just, and, and the coolest thing about trail running and trail races that people don't know is there is a lot of acceptance to walking and hiking. Like a, a lot, I think in road running, when you do a race, you know, people tend to get worked up like, oh, if I walk, I'm not a runner. You know, I'm a really big proponent. I mean, I walk in almost all my running. I, I never run straight anywhere. I don't have to. I'm never going to win the race. I don't care. Right. So trail running does um, just give you more of the OK. You know, like I'm running and there's a hill and I'm like, oh, well, I can she walk up the hill faster and with with, you know, better form than if I'm going to run up the hill and, and get more tired. So it just really allows for a whole different 
Um, and I think people, again, tend to be a little more scared of trail running. And my goal is to always just push people just a wee bit more out of their comfort zone. So regardless of whether they're road or haven't, I'm like, let's just go try a trail. And we start hiking and then I just, you know, kind of say, put your center in front of your feet. And before you know it, they're like, oh, wow, I'm, I'm running. <laughs> yeah, you're doing it. <laughs> so I love trails. <laughs>